the last section um, is really one that I added here at the end on um, upgrading an existing PC. Talked about uh, buying a pre-built, talked about uh, picking all your own parts. There's also a third option. And that third option is to buy one of those cut rate, low end, really ex inexpensive PCs that has possibly no video card on it, low amount of RAM, but it has Windows installed. It's got a case, it's got a power supply uh, that you feel you can upgrade with. And buying that low end system and turning it into a gaming rig, and I'm gonna I'm gonna take a look at one that uh, falls into that kind of area real quick here for you. Okay, so I'm on Walmart's site right now, and I'm looking at this HP Pavilion Gaming Desktop in Core Intel Core i5 10400F. You know what? This is so close to being a good gaming PC; it's almost a crime. Uh, $889 is a decent price considering what it's got. It's got an RTX 3060 video card in it. And if we take a look just at that RTX 3060 video card, that video card just by itself, if I was to go on Newegg and buy it, is $500. So just the video card that we're looking at here is $500 if I was to build this PC. So you're looking at $399 for all the rest of the components, for the case, the processor, for the solid state drive and for Windows 11. Now, solid state drive is small. It's got a 256. Um, the amount of memory is far underpowered for a gaming rig. It's only got eight gig of RAM, but I've got the basis of a really good system right here. I even like what it looks like. I could take this system and upgrade it. Now there's no way I don't have a RAM slot free because they don't sell four gig sticks that are that fast anymore so most likely i've got one there we go there's three slots open it looks like i'm gonna guess um and it's only got one eight gig stick in there oh and that and the the memory is an m.2 it's a 256 m.2 so i could take what is a low-end system for 899 dollars or, or mid-range system and I can add another 8 gig of RAM and really a second solid state drive on top of that I'd leave it just the way it is with that 256 uh, 256 gig M.2 and I'd stick in a 2 or a 4 gig solid state on top of that for just probably $200 more I could turn this into a high-end uh, realistically really nice gaming system Likewise, I could probably take this whole gaming system for $899, sell that card for $400, and have a low-end PC for $499 that I, I, did, I didn't even pay for almost. Um, so that option of buying a pre-built that doesn't meet all the specs we want to look for but it has the things that we need. And the biggest thing right now is video cards I can get a way better video card in a pre-built right now than I can going out and buying that card because exactly because of this. Finding that card at $499, I, I'm going to see if it's even in stock at $499. It looks like it is. That's not filling in, but um, okay, so it is in stock at $499. Limit 20 per customer. Who would buy 20 video cards? Um, but I just wanted to, to go over that other option that I didn't point out. If I was really in the market for a PC, and I've done this for several people, gone and bought a PC at Walmart, and then just made the tweaks that it took to turn that into a nice PC. Now, we've it's already powered for that video card. Uh, a second solid state's gonna use nothing, and another stick of RAM is realistically gonna use nothing. There's no way I'm gonna overpower um, or make that heart, uh, this PSU underpowered by adding just those few things onto that system. It's really close to a nice system. Now, could you take any of these other ones that are even less expensive and do the same thing? This one's only $799. Let's see what kind of video. Oh, it's got a terrible nothing video card in it. This one is not even worth $500. I, I I'm going to say this is a complete piece of junk that Walmart's trying to sell here because it's got a card that's $100 in it 
um, a really low end two gig card by comparison of this of this one um, this is a um, RTX 3060 video card let's see how much RAM that 3060 has in it I think it always has 12 gig of RAM on that uh, it doesn't really say but I think that the um, 3060 is uh, a 12 gig car just like it shows on uh, here on Newegg uh, when it when it comes to the uh, 3060 at least it's got 8 gig it doesn't have 2 gig like this thing is this is terrible that they're trying to sell this as a gaming desktop anyway uh, if this was $399, I'd say buy it and put a new video card in it, but it's $799, uh, wow, they're really ripping people off uh, on that particular one, which is why when I look at them, I look for one that has the parts that are that make it really worth that purchase. Uh, for instance, this, R this one has an RTX 2060 in it, and the price of the 2060 right now has really dropped actually since i looked last so that still makes that one a really poor choice the i buy power ones that uh walmart have are wow i'm really really um amazed at that anyway i just wanted to go over that that last option you have you can buy a pc pre-built you can make it all on your own or you can buy one that's pre-built that doesn't have exactly what you want, particularly getting on either uh, the extreme low end and adding a video card and memory, or like this one was, this one was, which is kind of a mid-range price with a really good video card in it that now all I have to do on this one is add another eight gig stick of RAM, maybe three if I wanted to make a really high-end gaming PC, and another hard drive. And we know those two things would be really, really inexpensive for us to do. In fact, let's look at just what that cost would be. So we could add another 8 gig of RAM for 32 bucks, and we could add a 2 terabyte solid-state uh, drive for 219 So this system would go from $800, $900 to 1000 and. Uh, 1100 okay, $1,100, uh, 1150 and be a really nice system. Uh, and like I said, I even like the way it looks. Um, with almost all the benefits of a pre-built, right? I've got a, a system that I've got support on. I've got all pre-install, all ready to go, plug and play. All I have to do is take this system, plug in a hard drive, stick in a stick of RAM, Bob's your uncle, it's good to go. So that's one of the great things about doing this This other option of I get the speed and support uh, and I get the system I want if I take a little time and, and uh, get the, especially this one, right? This one's got all the specs down here that I really would look for on a, on a system. Uh, I don't know the exact motherboard on here, but um, you know what? I'm gonna pop it open and I'll find out pretty quickly. So that's the, the other option from buying or building.